Okay, guys. What is up? It is I, Jay here with another brand new Let's Play once again. And again, it is one of our revisited Let's Plays that we uh, are going for a game again. And this time it is Pikmin 2, which came out in 2004 for the GameCube. And then 2009 on the Wii in most regions, but 2012 in America on the Wii. And then in 2023 for the Switch. And it is brilliant to see this uh, remaster on the Switch again. So, just like with the first Pikmin. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through options. Uh, it's just the music and sound effects again in the Switch version. I have no clue why, but... Uh, saving's a lot quicker now, so that's good. Uh, so... Uh, with this Let's Play, we're going to... I'm going to handle things a lot differently, and I'll explain it a lot later. But first, we're going to begin the game. Um, got to file select again. Uh, got a different file select, uh, which is a lot better. Well, I don't know if it's a lot better, but... But whatever. Let's just start the file. Go for a cutscene. Hockate Fright is a long-haul deep space shipping company. One day, its only employee of any merit, Captain Olimar, crashed on an uncharted planet while on... <laughs> there, he was invaded by individual creatures, which he called Pikmin. In the end, Captain Olimar escaped. Why is the text so fast? But in Olimar's absence, his employer, Hockatate Fright, ran into financial difficulties. Oh no! Well, at least all of them met, went to met his family, right? See his lovely wife and kids, and all that. And Hockatate, which is Saturn? Or your anus? I don't know. And then Hockatate Fright. Got two other piggies, <laughs> okay. President of Hockatate Fright and a, a local employee, Louis. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, very glad. Quite glad. But, sadly, I have an announcement that is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're finished on this first mission. Lawyer met a ravenous space bunny. <laughs> His entire load of golden big big carrots weren't eaten. I took an enormous loan to repay the debt from this loss. I decided to sell off the corporate assets to repay the loan. Oh no, our SS Dolphin's going away. No! But the only asset we had to sell was your ship, the SS Dolphin. As for the rest of our loan... We have no means of repaying it. Olmo, what is that? You bought that back as a souvenir for your kid? Cracker, 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 money, 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 money. In the game, the money we should have recovered treasure. This out of it is it's worth 100 pokos. This thing's worth 100 pokos? That's more than a year's salary. What? There's more on that planet? They can repay our debt! Lori, you don't you lie, you. What do you mean? We've captured Oliver! Oh, poor president. Oh, God. I like that. I like doing that voice for the president. Oh my god. But yes, we have brand new characters in this game, obviously. Um, so obviously we have Captain Olimar, and then we have Louis, who is our partner now. Uh, no, not that kind of partner. I mean partner as in as he helps us. And then uh, President, or I call him Mr. President, but I think it's just the president really, but whatever. The Valley of Repose. Oh boy, that we've never been there before. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, Louis fell off! Oh! We had safe landings though. Okay. That was close. I have adverted a crash landing running diagnostics. Alert danger. Louis is missing. He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. Mm, he is not responding via his communicator. He is either floating protocol or in danger. Olimar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in the cold of this planet. What? Wait a moment, look! It's just uh, five red Pikmins on a ball bulb. Could these be Pikmin? Uh, they look like they are about to be devoured as we speak. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, and it's given us tutorials. You can, yes, I know. All right. I know these controls before because we played uh, Pikmin 1 here before, obviously. For a moment, I thought we had four following us, but no, the fifth one said it. The big men ran to your side. They seem to remember you, Captain Olimar. How fascinating. Uh, give them instructions and do not delay. Uh, yes, I know. I know, goddammit. Right, I... Uh, we're just gonna... Oh, wow! Okay. We're just gonna kill him and then... And then, yeah, most of our controls are the same as before, so... Uh... And then here... Uh, attention, Captain Olimar! I have just uh, re-established my communications link with Louis! Uh, it, it, it is fortunate that we've managed to confirm his safety. Yes, I know, we, we pressed... Y yes, I know. I am quite interested in the details of, this con of his condition. Okay, so we press the Y button and then... Louis. Louis. We switched to Louis, Louis. <laughs> Louis, allow me to assess your condition. As per our safety protocols, are you all injured? Is that so? Then my concerns are eased. Our communication link shows you you are nearby. Can you make your way to a communication and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Yes, I know, I know. Okay. Pressing the plus button just brings the map up. And we can also, uh, that way we access the menu that way as well now. Um, and all that, so. That was... Uh, that means the the minus button is now controls. Oh, we can turn on motion controls. Uh, okay. I don't know if I should use motion controls, though, because it, it, it'll probably make the game slightly more difficult for me. So I'm not going to use motion controls. But at least I know how to access it in Pikmin 2. I don't know how to access it in Pikmin 1, though, if it's possible on the Switch. Now, the odd object before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olimar's report. Well, of course, because it's where the red Pikmin are born from. <laughs> Louis is like, oh, what is that? Oh! <laughs> the seed and the onion ejected uh, just sprouted. Uh, according to Olimar's report, it can be plucked with ah. <laughs> well, obviously it can. And we're going to do that if, if it works. There we go. It's a red Pikmin! Unsurprising. Lowey, this must be one of the Pikmin creatures from Olimar's report. It, it, it is staring at you. Well, obviously, because it's staring at me as well. It's breaking the fourth wall. Yes, I goddamn know already. It's one of them, yes. Interesting. Olimar's description of the creatures resemble pick pick carrots was strikingly accurate. Larry, my senses have detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you alright? Oh, God. <laughs> he just appeared on the screen rapidly well. Because it's in widescreen. He's like, what do I do with it? <laughs> Well, 
this is what you do with it. You throw it. Right, before you get that, I want you to get that one there. Then I'm going to get this one over here. It's best if we do that. There we go. Right, so I'm going to get that one there, So because that one's far away. Do, do. So yeah, now we got music, finally. Uh, so yeah. I like how the icons are slightly more uh, HD-ish as well. <laughs> Looks very cool. Do, 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 do. And then we get more Bikmin. Or oh, Pikmin, not Bikmin. No, that's a totally different thing. <laughs> okay. The onion injected more seeds than pellets from the flower must hold nutrients that breed Pikmin. Uh, yes, the Pikmin gather nutrients all oh, to the onion and for every restoration of the species. The onion is a Pikmin mothership. Well, of course it is. Reviewing all of us report, it seems a bit holding A uh, rapidly. Uh, plucks Pikmin sprouts. Well, well, yes. And at first I thought you had to rapidly press A and spam it, but it turns out no, you can just hold A. That works as well. It's what you're meant to do. Right, we can get the Pikmin to go here faster now. Right, I'm going to make it faster here. Okay. So then we're going to wait for these Pikmin sprouts. Do, 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 do. Then we're going to block this. So then we've got enough Pikmin to... Uh, Go this way, and then there's treasure here, and we will talk about more about treasure in a moment, about the Switch version, because there's something unique. But we can see we found a battery. Okay. Perhaps this object is one of the treasure that we were searching for. Uh, the only reason we found it here is because this is where we you crash landed. How fortunate. I would like to rephrase it, but you must regroup with Olimar first. Can you see him? No, I can't. Okay. But we know where he is, though. Uh, can you stop giving me uh, advice? Uh, we'll talk about more of that treasure in a moment. Well, that needs to be digs. So yeah, there's digging in this game that you have to do. Um, we only need um, 15 Pikmin for that. I'm going to change back to Olimar. And we've reunited! They're friends again! <laughs> Captain Olimar Louie, you have reunited at last! Uh, this has been troublesome start for our, uh, to our trip. But now you must feel assured that your combined wits uh, uh, can get you through anything, correct? From now on, yes, I know! Alright, so now... Six. I'm gonna bring six on that. So then, we're gonna bring these Pikmin to dig that treasure. Now, one thing about treasures in this game is that um, uh, in the original version of Pikmin 2, uh, every single most, uh, at least uh, about 90% or 85% of treasures were all pretty much uh, sponsored by other companies. So. Uh, however, obviously the licenses expired for the Switch version, so they had to change them. So you can see that one's not brand associated. That one's like completely made up, I think. But in the uh, but in American and European versions, this was a Duracell battery, and in the Japanese version, it was a National High Top battery, uh, which is something I've never really heard of. Uh, I think it's another battery brand in Japan or something. I don't know. But yeah. And, and almost every treasure in the game has at least some regional differences with the GameCube and Wii versions. Not with the Switch version, because the Switch version changed it in all regions. Uh, so... Now, I don't know if... I don't know if two captains do the plucking here or not. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes! Yes! Yes, they do! Okay, so it makes things faster. So... Plucking Pikmin is kind of faster now because because you literally have two captains do it. Uh, another gimmick of this game is that 
the music slightly changes when you play as Olimar and Louis. So it's like this with Olimar, right? But when we change to Louis, yeah, with with Olimar is like du 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 du, but with Louis is like du 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 du. Is like yeah, it, it's kind of uh, cool. Go up here, and there's nothing up here yet. There will be something up here later, though. Now we can see there's water there. So change the cameras. Do, 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 do. This music seems crisp, uh, Christmas themed. Da, 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 you can't really, you can't heal yourself from the ship anymore, by the way. So, I don't think you can ever heal a captain in this game anymore. And you can't examine a treasure again, so. And when you go near a treasure, it doesn't automatically say, oh, what treasure it is. And you, and so, if you want to know the name for it, you have to bring it to the ship first, and then you get to know. But yeah, the Pikmin here. And they're just getting everywhere. So, it's electric super battery power. It's a courage reactor, and it's worth 280 pokos. We need, we need, uh, 10,000? No, that's not 10,000. Um, no, it's 100,000, that's it. Uh, we need in order to pay our debt. Our first day of exploration has wielded our first treasure. We will be done in record time. I took the liberty of naming it when I uh, appraised it. The name reflects all my current thinking. Leave it to me uh, to think up catchy me names for it products. It is but one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and present back our to our presidents, his face will surely be joyless. However, to communicate with Hokkaido, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We will not return to the surface until morning, so uh, so as to avoid the uh, indigenous nocturnal creatures. So yeah, it's the end of the day. It's the end of the day. <laughs> And uh, we're going back to Hulkatate! Or we might stay on the ship, I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, the ball moves back, how is he still alive? Um, and now it's today's report to the president of Hulkatate. So we just got the courage reactor. Uh, that's about it for today. No Pikmin died because we only had Pikmin born, and we can also press the ZL button to see our total of Pikmin deaths by what type. So battle, sunset, which is like if you'll leave Pikmin behind, then fire, water, like yeah, there's electricity in this game, and you have explosions. There's poison in this game as well, and then all of them. So yeah. We got mail. You found your first bit of treasure. Fine work. Our future pretend, uh, depends on your efforts. So check your treasure hold regularly. I'll check in often. Keep up the pace. And let's save the game. And that is it for this uh, day. But the way I'm going to make it work for this uh, Let's Play series of Pikmin 2 is that because uh, obviously Pikmin 2 can be quite long and you'll see why so we're gonna continue in this video we're gonna land back in the Valley of Repose <sighs> the Valley of Repose but whatever so yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue today in this video oh we get a message from the ship Good morning, walkers! Ready for another day of toiling for the profit of your company? The Pikmin seem to be still asleep inside their onion. What lazy creatures. No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand between the onion and... Yes. Oh, I've got an itchy leg. 
It's near my crotch as well, oh my god. Uh. Right, let's bring all of our Pikmin out because we only have 20 reds. So, yes, um... So, we're gonna pretty much, um... Uh, make more Pikmin born along with, um... Uh, pretty much, uh, getting, um... Um... Uh, getting something done, hopefully. Right. But I bet... There's more pellets this way. Yeah, there is. Dude. Let's just destroy this while we wait. Come on. Yes, there we go. So you're all grabbing them. And then we, now we've got our timer at the top corner. So yeah. Um, so yeah, you're still timed on days, but at least it's bet. At least it's better. Uh, at least. The benefit of this game is that you don't have to worry about um, uh, day limits. So there's no limit to how how many days you can have anymore. Uh, it's uh, how many days you need. So that's always a good thing. Right, we got 30 Pikmin, and we're waiting for those ones still. So I'm gonna go here. I assume this takes 30. No, 35. Okay. I guess we're putting on putting them on these ready. In fact, put these on here now. And now put these back on there, so then... Because uh, I just want that open. Alright. There we go. So now uh, there's a ball ball that we need to murder. There we go. Oh, and he gave us a pellet for free. And then there's a ball bulb there, right? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kill the ball bulb. Come on! Oh yeah, first try and no deaths. Oh my god! Right. I didn't mean to do six. Okay. All right, and then. Free. Right, there's not enough to get that treasure yet, so I'm gonna get these Pikmin to do this gate right here. And then there seems to be something behind it. Along with water, there's something else there. Right, I'm gonna leave Louie there, so then when I, uh, I can switch to him whenever I need to. Um, okay, uh, I assume something. Uh, I, believe, I believe there's a pellet ready to be. Can you move, Olimar? Oh my god! Yeah, there's a five pellet ready here. Obviously, I would prefer if Louie was here, because then we would have made plucking so much faster, but obviously he's not here at the moment. Uh, is there something up here? Uh, there's nothing, still nothing up there yet. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're just going to pluck all these on our own then. Do 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 Okay. Alright. I'm gonna come back for them. Because we'll be needing to get that treasure, so uh which is right over there. I don't know if this is another brand replacement in this version or not. I can't remember. But they're doing well with that. If if there's not, uh. right, how many's got that? All right, there we go. That's enough there. Yep, there we go. Right, you all gonna do that? In fact, we'll, we'll make we'll, we'll stop looking Pikmin now because. Uh, uh, okay, now let's grab. Oh my God, there's a lot. 
Plucking every Pikmin, oh boy. Right, let's just use Louie to get them. In fact, let's make this faster by um, making some of them grab that because it makes it faster. We'll make these Pikmin do the gate. Come on. Oh, that's done! Okay, uh, never mind. Okay. How can Pikmin destroy such a massive wall when master of their might is ferocious? Louis, did all of my instruct you on proper Pikmin commanding protocol? Apparently not, Olimar. You are failing in your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah, I know basically everything, so... No, oh, no, wrong button. Now we just gotta wait. Do, 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 do. Come on. Alright, here we go. We have another treasure for the president. And then that face is like it's going, oh, something like that. We have other scrap. Uh, and it's 170 pokos. Okay. And now. Uh, let's just get Louie over there. And then. There's, there's this over here, which is, seems like a cave. It looks like a cave. Interesting, warm air is running from up in the hole in the ground before you. Uh, what could lie on the ground? What is wrong? You both show expressions of unease. Do not fear, the leader's group of thick men will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. I will return any Pikmin outside of that group into the onion. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Okay. And uh, let's do that. We are going to the emergence cave. Now this is where it gets interesting, guys. Yes. Intriguing. My heat sensors indicate that this hall is interior is warmer than uh, on the surface. And I suggest that danger lies ahead, but the, the, prom the promise of treasure is tantalizing. If you wish to check on the ground terrain, uh, yes, you plus to communicate with me. I, I'm not just a ship, I am an all-purpose support pod. Yes, we're in a cave, and the good news is, no time limit. So yes, Time actually stops when you're in a cave, uh, and it's interesting. And then we have these ball bulbs. These are snowball bulbs. These are called. Okay, let's kill these ball bulbs. Snowball bulbs. You can tell because they're white. All right, and then we go here. There's another cavern hole. This hole appears to be quite deep. My senses indicate more treasurous terrain ahead. Louis, do you do recall that you can adjust the camera, but yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna read all that. But yeah, we get now. Now you might think, oh, there's no way to get more Pikmin here. Well, the enemies can also give you Pokos. Yeah, um, it, it's not just treasure that do that. The enemies can as well, which is a really good thing. So that means we're gonna wait here. <laughs> How can you possibly consider this beast a treasure? 
Beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hold. But I do not think beasts will be worth much. Yeah. So, you can see this one. It's worth only two. And then we got this orange juice. We got a massive orange juice for Mr. President. Yeah, I love doing that every time I get to it. Citrus Lump. <laughs> I like that name. Citrus Lump. And it's 180 Pocos. Or Pocos, or however you want to say it. Okay. We've got a lid for Mr. President. A spicy ginger ale. Uh, the, quen uh, the quenching emblem. Um... Uh, I think this is one of the ones that have been changed in other versions. Oh, that has gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was wondering, why is it still there when the Pope goes appeared? Okay. Okay, so yeah, we go down. And sub-level two. So we're on uh, another sub-level. This is the final floor as well, the final level uh, of this area. we got two snowball bulbs here that we need to murder! <laughs> Yay! And then right here, we have a big treasure. It's of the world map. And it's the ingredient is such an immersed object that has been buried for so long. The design of the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet in outer space. Uh, yeah. Who'd you pick with to carry it? Yeah. You can see here, 101. And that's not possible. But, we gotta wait further for something. And you're not gonna believe it. If it's your first time playing. So first we got these snowball bulbs, obviously. Um... Three. I'm just gonna make three of those. Uh, grab that. Okay, there we go. Come on. Six. And then all of these. Right, yeah, there we go. And then we've got these things right here. We have these candy pot buds. But they're purple. Astonishing! A flower blooms in a cave beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly it's warmer down here than above. Uh, look, the Pikmin are restless. They look as if they were tossed into a flower. Yep, we can. We can only put five in each. In this one, I'm only going to put four in. Because um, I'm going to utilize the technique. So here, we're going to pluck them. And... We have purple Pikmin. Amazing! A purple Pikmin! It has hair! Uh, and it's quite st stocky! It seems very heavy and strong! This kind of Pikmin was not mentioned in your report, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. It, it absolutely is. Transforming Pikmin by tossing them into flowers? Intriguing. Perhaps there are others. There's only one other new type in this game. Uh, the other two, the yellows and blues, were in the first one as well. But yeah, I'm not going to do this candy pot bud because, um, because obviously, um, I want to try and utilize a technique which we can get more purples. Astonishing! Water is shooting out of this geyser with incredible force. Sensors indicate it has enough power to launch you into the air. Approach it and press A to try! to a cracked ceiling. But yes, the purple Pikmin, you throw like this, and when they carry objects, 
it's also it's also an equivalent of ten uh, normal Pikmin. So meaning enough purple. Uh, so one purple and one hundred reds is enough to carry that. So yeah, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take this away yet, but you can see it's possible to carry now. So yeah. Um, but I'm not going to get that just yet, because I'm going to utilize a trick. Um, which, um, which is quite interesting. And that is, um, I'm going to escape the surface and then come back to the cave. There we go. So yeah, we got a uh, treasure salvaged, a citrus lump and the quenching emblem, and 22 enemies. And we can always save. And we're back on the Valley of Repose. La 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 la. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We have, we must celebrate your first successful spelunking expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president tonight in detailing your progress. It's not all yet, because we can use this ship to take away our purple Pikmin. So yeah, this is where the purple Pikmin go. And not to mention the the pellet posies are back, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get more reds while we're here as well. So um, it's a really good thing if we do that. So absolutely. So and you can see it's midday already. So meaning the cave the caves definitely pause time. So we're absolutely safe. Okay, there's nothing there. Do, 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 do. I think it's just those pellet posies and that's it. So yeah. But yeah, we can do this multiple times before um before the day ends and that. And uh that way we can also get more purples. Until 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 the candy pop bots won't come back because there is a limit to how many purples you can technically have. So so in order to pretty much uh, get more purples, we just miss one purple, and then the rest of the times we put them all we put all reds into the candy pop bots, the ones that can go in. So yeah, that's how we do it here. So now we're gonna go back. To the um... <laughs> yeah, you can do that as well. All the all the you can do that. It's funny when you do that. Hey, it's Louis' turn to go in the emergence cave. You can also um, skip it at the right time to make uh, to make it look weird when you pause when it pauses. I think the enemies come back as well, so that's another benefit, because, if you look here, the, while the treasure has already been taken, so we don't need to get the treasure anymore, we can get the enemies again, so meaning we can get a lot more Pocos. Well, obviously, not as much with enemies, but, I mean, still. There we go. There we go. And now we just gotta wait for these to get put in. And then I'm gonna do the trick again. Until the candy pop puts disappear. I guess I'll meet you guys then because it's, it is gonna take a while. We have another cutscene. Good morning, it should be known that the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hall. This uh, combines my entry data suit perfectly. Uh, ring below. Yeah, that just means we know where the, the purple pigments go. And I guess while we're here, uh, 
If you also put a Pikmin in the water, I think we get a cutscene. Oh, no, we don't. No, uh, I was thinking of Pikmin 3. But I guess while we're here, we can see what the sunset is like. So, uh, so I'm going to just leave these Pikmin with Louie for a bit. And I'm going to use Olimar for a bit. So, uh, so then I can get the I can get the cutscene done. You see, so yeah. Oh boy, I just burped. Um, so the way, so obviously when it sunsets, uh, uh, you'll have uh, you'll have quite less time to um, do stuff. So meaning. Um, uh, then you'll get a countdown for 10 seconds, uh, and there you go, we got to hurry up right now. Yep. Anima, Louie, the sun will set in soon. Call all the Pikmin to you! Uh, this planet is an age of nocturnal life forms are ferocious and uh, therefore dangerous. Uh, load your Pikmin into the onion yourselves, into the hood, uh, low orbit. Uh, in, in your squad, I will enter the onion on your own day's end. So then you'll get a timer, which we're not going to lock out, but we got the cutscene done, so yeah. Okay, that's off. There we go. <laughs> uh, we need 64 hours, 64. Now I'm going to bring five purples with me. Because then we'll be able to grab this treasure which we otherwise wouldn't so we can just skip these uh, now obviously um, we gotta go through all this again so I'll meet you guys until I get to the treasure okay we're on the final floor again so meaning um, we've got enough Pikmin to carry that and I assume the the candy pop bobs are not there. Yep, yeah, you can see the candy pop bobs are not there anymore. I think there's a limit of 20 purples that we can have, um, that we can breed. So, hopefully we should have enough for this. Uh, hopefully. If I recall correctly, yes. So, I'm going to bring that through. And then I'll kill these enemies so I can get, um... I'm just going to bring that through as well. Why not? And then... Okay. I read that. Okay, there we go. So then, this treasure can go through. Come on. There we go, we got that treasure. 200 Pocos, and it is the Spherical Atlas. And we now got over 1,000 Pocos. There is a device resembling a microchip embedded inside the sphere, retrieving data. Error, I can only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve a new part. I will then put this data into my planetary uh, database and name it the Sphere Chart. Uh, yes, I know. Okay. You have the yeah, whenever the whenever you got everything in there. So I'll meet you guys there. Okay, guys, I'm back. Right. Oh, wrong button. Um, to the um. Skip the Pikmin. <laughs> I like how it delays it sometimes. Got the Spherical Atlas. And the cave is complete! It's complete! And that's free. And now... There is a secret here, but I don't know if it is in the Switch version, but... Just look it up yourself when you're on the results screen. When it's completed. Ah, two Peliposis there, but we can't grab them. Because of this. Oh, 
Emma and Louie. Since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable! You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. You should take a much needed rest as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. Weird voice. And we're not going to watch these, we can always skip these. Just skip these as well. And all that, so... So we got four pieces of treasure and 88 en enemies. Or, uh, no, the 88 is the amount of Pokemon, that's it. So yeah, we got 29 purple Pikmin's. Yes, I know that's the num- that I know that's the leap year number for February, but I mean still. But that's all we can have right now. If you do the trick. So meaning, um... Obviously there's no Pikmin death, so... Uh... Because it's it's useful if you do this method because then uh, we can we can make we can make tomorrow easier uh, and you'll find out tomorrow so yeah baby steps first Olimar plan well and don't worry about me our dip is with happy hockatate savings and loan after all besides there's nothing left to respond to re process so. I don't know what that was. And we've unlocked the Awakening Wood. Uh, so yeah, you can see, if you also notice, along with the uh, the name of the area, you also have the name of the caves we've entered. So there's two more in the Valley of Repose. There's also an above ground I uh, area. Uh, that's just the, the whole Valley of Repose itself. We've got two treasures there so far. And then in Awakening Woods, it seems like there's four caves. Uh, the question marks just mean we've not... Well, well, it means we've not found the caves yet, so yeah. And and the text will be golden if you've got all treasures there, and if not, then they'll still be blue. Yeah, you can still do the... Um... <laughs> you can still do... You can still make the ship go crazy here. So, I think on that note... Oh, wow, it went on the other side. Oh, my God. Um, there's also the Piclopedia and the treasures, but we're not going to look at them until, like, probably way later. So, on that note, it is I, Jane about, and I shall see you guys in the next video, uh, where we go to the Awakening Wood. Uh, yeah, these Pikmin 2 videos are going to be longer than usual. Probably longer than my original. It... Hopefully less videos as well, because my original Pikmin 2 videos, I had like over 40, which I think that's the the, the highest amount of videos for a Let's Play series I did so far. Um, out of, uh, as of, as of this series release dates. But hopefully there'll, there'll be less videos for this one, but, but the videos will be slightly longer, so, yeah. So, with, with that note, it is I, Jane Pabout. I shall see you guys in the next video. It is I, Jane Pabout. See you guys next time. Bye!